Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Sam, and today I'm starting a new YouTube series called My Thoughts on... and today's topic. So the reason why I'm starting this series is because sometimes I feel like I don't have the time to make YouTube videos like my DVD reviews and my openings and my closings and my food reviews and just other like products or um, projects I'm working on so that can be a little difficult to manage but I've been thinking lately because like I've been using Twitter more often and sometimes I have thoughts that I want to share on there but I don't want to make like a 50 year long thread so um and there are things that I just want to talk about using my voice but Sometimes I don't have real people to talk to about these things because I share different interests with my real life friends, but I can share my thoughts with all of you. So that's what I'm here to do um, now that, you know, I've realized I don't necessarily need an elaborate setup or a script or anything like that to go off of to make a YouTube video. I can just be me. Easy as that. So um, this first episode of my thoughts on is going to be about one of my favorite cartoons of all time, if not my favorite cartoon of all time, um, and that would be Spongebob Squarepants. Um, as many of you know, I've been a lifelong fan of this show. Um, I, when I was really little, I used to watch Clifford the Big Red Dog, but um, probably since the age of about two or three years old, I moved on to Spongebob Squarepants, and to this day, it has been a favorite cartoon of mine. Just its humor, its, you know, animation styles throughout the years, especially the early ones. Um, the, the elaborate characters and the reoccurring plots of what goes on at the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket and the Secret Formula and all of the little side things that happen between the characters and maybe they go to Jellyfish Fields or they you know, something happens in Spongebob's house or with one of the other characters. Um, it's just such a creative show to base off of, you know, marine life. <laughs> you know, you talk about a talking sponge, you know, no one thought the show was going to be as successful as it currently is today. Like, no one thought it would be running, like, back in 1999 when the show first released. No one thought that it would still be going in 2022, and yet here we are. Um, it's it's crazy how you know widely recognized the show has become. It's it's now you know not not quite but almost um, on the levels of Mickey Mouse as or probably probably about even actually on the levels of Mickey Mouse with like um, recognizable cartoon characters that are like some of the most iconic. I wouldn't put it on the level of Bugs Bunny though. Not, not quite there yet. It, it, it just needs some more time for that. Or like uh, Homer Simpson or any of the Simpsons characters. It, it needs a bit more time to get to that point, in my opinion. But SpongeBob is still one of the most iconic cartoon characters of all time. And that's something that goes without saying, seeing as it now has two spin-off series <laughs> and several, several seasons of which have varying qualities. So overall, I love the show. It's one of my favorites. But now we get to talk about, you know, my other thoughts on it as to why I like it, what, you, you know, what some of my thoughts are that I don't like and things like that. So first of all, let me just begin by saying that this might be a little bit hypocritical of me saying that, oh, it's my favorite cartoon of all time. I have not seen every episode of the show. I have not. I've seen seasons one through at least six in their entirety. Those are the ones that played on my TV over and over and over and over again growing up. And then after that, I kind of like, you know, took a break from watching the show to move on to other things. And I'm only just now catching back up again. I've seen bits and pieces of the later episodes from the later seasons. Like I've seen the birthday bash. I've seen I don't know. I've seen I've seen various episodes of the later seasons. I also haven't seen the third movie, which, you know, the first movie was supposed to be the ending of the show. And should it have been that way? Maybe. But then that would mean that we'd also have to live without the episodes that 
we currently have now. So I'm grateful that those exist. So I'm not quite sure now that we have those episodes, if I would have really wanted the movie to be the, the end, the finale. But yeah, I mean, I haven't seen every episode of SpongeBob. So what I talk about here isn't with knowledge of like every single thing that's been put out there. But I will say I am biased to liking the earlier seasons more. I like their style better. I like their humor better. I like their pacing better. I like the animation better. Not just like the way the characters look, but also the way they like move and stuff. I don't like all the like bleh, crazy expressions. I think that's a little bit unnecessary, but I can see why um, today's youth, um, the younger generations would be attracted to that. Cause I know I would have been all over that as a kid, but now that I'm older, I'm like, eh. And I like grew up with like the older stuff. So I'm like, this isn't necessary. But kids nowadays tend to be kind of bored with things like Looney Tunes and, you know, other things like that. Not, not to say that all of them are, but just in general. Um, and I think that the changes that have happened to Spongebob over the years, especially when like season four and five and so forth were happening, I think that people make those changes out to be worse than they actually are. Um, there are certain things that I'm personally not a fan of, such as like, um, just like the characters start acting a little bit different after the post movie episodes and like the animation was a little bit different too. And then obviously it, you know, turned into like the flash animation or whatever it is now. I don't even know. But it, now it's all like the, you know, the smooth motion and the, the very expressive faces, which again, I recognize it's not for my audience. Um, but yeah. And I think that people are like, oh, anything after season four is garbage. That's not true to me, in my opinion, because there are some definite highlights, especially from season four. And even from season five too, because people are like, season five and six are the worst. And I mean, that's subjective. I can see, I can see why the majority of SpongeBob fans tend to agree with that. And again, as someone who hasn't seen every episode of SpongeBob, I can't really tell you which season is like my least favorite. Um, of the ones I've seen, I'd say season six, um, but it has its good qualities. I'm not calling it entirely garbage, you know? Um, I think people trash on the animation too much and the humor too much. It's different. It's likable if you really, if you really, you know, set your mind to it. You know what I mean? Cause like, cause like people spend too much time hating on it, I guess. Like, like when you hear other people, when you hear other people say that they hate seasons five and six, then you, start to hate those seasons too like it, it's it's how it's how people it's how the internet works you know your mind starts to gravitate toward other people's mindsets and i've been trying my very hardest to avoid that mentality because i know that can be kind of unhealthy so um that being said some episodes that i've seen in season 10 like i don't like or is the, the Ink Limited, is that season 10? I don't even know. I don't have memorized what episodes are in what later seasons. Now the earlier ones maybe, but not the later ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, what, what else was I gonna say? The music, oh my gosh, the music in SpongeBob. I can play one of those songs on the ukulele, the I can play that one on the ukulele. Um, it's a lot of fun. And just the soundtrack in general is a very likable soundtrack. As someone who's a music education major, I, I got I gotta talk about how iconic that is. Um, even in the later seasons, it's still iconic. It's different, but it's still iconic. And they kind of revamp some of the tracks they use in the earlier seasons and kind of like base it off of that, which I think is really smart, really clever um, to those who are older and watching it today like me um and what else do i have to say about this show i don't know i just think it's a really 
good show. I think it's a really good product that Nickelodeon has put out there. Um, as far as the movies go, the first movie is iconic. The second movie, I watched it when I was like, what year did that release? Was it 2015? I want to say I was like 13 or 14 years old when I watched that. So that was in like my Spongebob cringe phase. And so I was like, this movie sucks. I hate it. It's all about like helping each other. And like, I don't know. Like, I thought it was cheesy. Um, I need to rewatch it again on Paramount Plus, but we'll see about that. And um, I need to watch the third movie. I've not gotten to that yet. I've seen bits and pieces of Camp Coral and the Patrick Star show. And I'm not good. I'm going to be brutally honest here. I think those shows are unnecessary. Now, are they humorous? Yes. Do they have a somewhat active audience? Yes. And, you know, I'm very happy for the creators of those shows um, and the people, the producers and the people who work on them or whatever for, you know, taking on such a project. Because, you know, when a product becomes big enough to have spinoffs like that, um, that means it's really successful and it shows that Steven Hillenberg's creation has been really successful. But did Steven Hillenberg really want it to be this way? He kind of hinted at the fact that it didn't, but I see no point in arguing too much about it now. Uh, rest in peace, by the way. Love you, Steve. Anyway, um, oh, one other thing I want to mention Kind of, not off topic because it is Spongebob's voice actor, but kind of off topic from what I was just talking about. I really want to meet Tom Kenny. That is like one of my goals in life, to meet that man. He has provided me with so much happiness in television over the years with Spongebob, Gary, um, other characters. Um, the Ice King from Adventure Time. Uh, I'm blanking right now because I'm staring at myself in front of a camera screen. But... Yeah, those are my thoughts on Spongebob, basically. It's a fantastic show. It has a lot of great humor. Um, I think it's very entertaining. It's something that holds up through time, uh, even to this day. All the humor back from, like, the 90s and early 2000s is still iconic and still makes me laugh every time. So I love Spongebob. It's great. Um, and be on the lookout for more of my thoughts on things in the future. Maybe I'll script them out in the future because this was kind of just me rambling, but I like rambling. So it's nice to have someone to rant to, or ramble to, even if it's just my own face. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.